Hello, Blake. Hi. Maria said you were waiting. I, I'm sorry. No, oh, no problem. Where you been? Airport. A guest in town? No, I was seeing someone off. Eric? Yes. He asked you to take him to the airport? No. I just drove out to the airport, walked up to the gate, and said goodbye. Wasn't that a bit forward of you? Well, we're friends. And, you know, I... I don't have a full-time job like his wife. Very good. Thank you. So what brings you by? Well, I was just thinking about the conversation we had yesterday. You made it sound as if this week was terribly significant. Eric is in Europe. Ridge and Brooke are here alone. Need I say more? No, that's why I came by, was to offer to help any way I can. Oh, I realize that you want Ridge and Brooke together as much as I do, believe me. Do you have a plan? Yes, I do. And going to the airport and saying goodbye to Eric was a significant part of it. Mm. I realized something last night. If I really thought in my heart that Eric and I didn't have a chance, then I wouldn't fight for him. I don't want him to be miserable. I love him. And if it isn't going to work out between us, then I have to, to give it over. I have to let him get on with his life with Brooke. Well, which did you decide to do? Well, I, I've been thinking about these past few weeks. The way Eric has responded to me, the things that he said, the concerns that he's shown. I think I'm smart enough to know the difference between romantic love and just simple human concern, although he has a great deal of that for me. Mm -hmm. When a man looks you in the eye and tells you that he cares and that he doesn't want to end a relationship, I think something else is coming through. I think it's a yearning, a cry to, to bring back the past. I think this is a man that is not happy with the way things have turned out, but at this moment he has no idea how he can go about bringing a change. I, on the other hand, do know how to bring about a change. What do you plan to do? Well, I'm hoping to use this week to bring Ridge and Brooke closer than they have ever been before, so that by the time Eric comes back, the handwriting will be on the wall. I just don't think that your son is going to throw himself at Brooke. He's too sensitive to his father. You're right. And I've tried to take that into consideration. But I think by the end of the week, Ridge and Brooke are going to be so lost in their love for each other, they're going to have absolutely no sense of guilt as far as Eric is concerned. They're actually going to be talking about marriage. And so will I. So will I. I'm gonna lose my baby. That's what I care about, and that is all I care about. I didn't expect to see you again. Or hope, perhaps, that you wouldn't see me again? I was hoping that you remembered that I would not be your doctor. This isn't a medical visit. It isn't. No, I'm here on behalf of someone who cares about you very dearly. You are? Yes. May I ask who that might be? Someone that you have accused falsely of doing something. Well, Stephanie, I can't think of anyone that I've been accusing of anything. This has to do with the tape, the videotape of Ridge and Brooke in the lab. Is it Ridge that I've been falsely accusing? Doctor, I told you I was here on behalf of someone who cares about you. We both know who Ridge cares about. Would you please stop with the word games and just tell me who you're talking about? Blake. Blake? Yes. A good man is hard to find these days, Doctor. You ought to reconsider the way you're treating him. What Blake did was repulsive. Repulsive hell, it was illegal. He didn't make the tape. What? He didn't even know the tape had been made. He didn't know? That's right. Then how did he find it? Where did he get it? Let's just say he got it from me. I had the tape made, Doctor.
You made the tape of Brooke and your son making love in the lab? I was suspicious of Brooke, and I had the surveillance equipment installed in the lab. Obviously, I had no idea that this would be the result. But I'm sure it doesn't disappoint you, does it? For certain reasons, no. And I think you can understand that. Of course I understand. You are obsessed with Eric, and you think you're going to get him back. The pro reason for me to deny that I believe Eric and I will be together again. It amazes me that a woman as intelligent as yourself still continues to hold on to this dream. Well, in my mind, it's not a dream. Your obsession with my son, on the other hand. My interest in your son, on the other hand, ended the day that I heard about the tape. Smart woman. Perhaps you would be smart as well if you forgot about Eric. You know what I just realized? You haven't seen Eric and I together in, what, nine or ten months? You know, his whole attitude towards me has changed. Does anyone else believe that besides you? Unlike most people, I don't require a consensus. I know exactly what I want to do. And I do it because my instincts tell me that I'm correct. As you well know, my instincts are seldom wrong. So what is it that you're going to do? Keep your eyes wide open this week, and you'll see. As far as Blake is concerned, Doctor, he does love you. I wouldn't turn my back on him if I were you. Because Ridge is out of the picture, right? Precisely. Well, then, if you were so certain of that, why did you feel the need to come all the way over here to convince me of that? Suit yourself, Doctor. But believe me when I tell you, by the end of the week, Ridge and Brooke will be as close as they have ever been. So, Mr. Littlefield, you're the handwriting expert. That's right, Mrs. Forrester. I've never met a handwriting expert. They tell me that you can duplicate anyone's signature. That's correct. Obviously, I never do this for any illegal purposes. Oh, the thought never occurred to me. But you are just the man that I'm looking for. Here, Mr. Littlefield, I'd like you to look at this. Can you duplicate that? No problem. Even though my husband's handwriting's rather distinctive? That makes it all the easier. Well, it's oh. only time to study it. How much time? A couple of days? No, a couple of hours. Mrs. Forrester, I have other projects. I'm sure that you do, but money's no object. I have to have this done immediately, so just tell me what you're going to ask. What exactly is involved? I'd like you to make a copy of this draft on this stationery, naturally, in my husband's handwriting. This isn't an insurance scam. No, read it. You'll see there's nothing illegal here. This is, uh, it's very romantic. Can you do it? Has to be right away. Timing is everything. Two hours. Ten thousand dollars. $10,000, and you absolutely guarantee that no one will ever suspect that that isn't my husband's handwriting? That will not be a problem. You have a deal. I, uh, I'll need a check. Of course you'll need a check. I'll write one for you right now. What about this? Lab, Brooke speaking. It's Stephanie. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. How are you getting along? Getting along? With Eric on, I mean. Oh, that. Things are pretty quiet. Quiet? Yes, yeah, Stephanie. I've tried, but not much has changed. Oh, I think you're wrong. Wrong? Yes, come and see me, and I'll tell you why. No, I don't think I can do that. I'm really pretty wiped out. Wiped out? Yes. I've been fighting this battle with Ridge, and 
Well, to be blunt, I've lost. He has too many conflicting emotions right now. About Eric? Yes. Listen, Brooke, you come over here and see me. This is important. Stephanie... No, don't argue with me. You want to be with Ridge, and this may be your last chance. Yes? Mrs. Forrester, you wanted to see me? Yes, Maria, please, come in. Listen, a couple of things are going to happen. First, Brooke is going to arrive at the house, and when she does, please bring her into the den immediately. And secondly, Mr. Littlefield, who was here before, he's going to come back with an envelope. When he does, I'd like you to bring the rest of the mail and that envelope to me immediately. Yes, ma'am, certainly. Thank you. Anything else? No, that's all, thank you. You seem very busy today, Mrs. Forrester. Yes, I am. It's a very busy week, Maria. It's very busy indeed. A lot is happening. This was not a good idea. Yes, it was. Look, it's not going to happen for Ridge and me, so don't start. Because you don't want it to happen? Don't put words in my mouth. Brooke, you have got to take advantage of this week. Do you hear what you're saying? Take advantage of this week? What kind of advantage is that? Setting myself up for a divorce? You're losing your focus. And you're living in a dream world. No, Stephanie. this isn't a dream. Don't you understand? We can have it all. You can end up with Ridge and I can have Eric back, but it has to happen now. Brooke, it's this week or it's never. Then it's never. It's never. Can you give Ridge up so easily? <sighs> Stephanie, Ridge is torn apart. I get close to him and he pushes me away. He's confused. And oh my God, I can see why. I don't want to add to that confusion. Well, then you're the one that has to be rational. You have to convince him so he's not confused. <sighs> well, maybe I'm just a little confused myself. About your feelings? No, about Eric's feelings. That is the one issue I am not the least bit confused about. It's absolutely clear to me. <sighs> You know, I wish I could believe that as much as you do. I wish I had the conviction that Eric had the desire to put together a relationship with you. But I'm sorry, Stephanie. It's nothing personal against you. I just don't believe he wants you back. Well, I do believe it. And I believe it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Bring the baby over here. What? Bring the baby and the nanny and let them come and stay here for the week with me. You can come and see him any time that you want to. And when you're not here to see him or working, you'll... You'll be free. Free to do whatever you want, with whomever you want. I think you need that. I think you and Ridge need that. You think that... Listen to me, this is your opportunity. These seven days, that's all that you have. Now, I think you should take some time to examine this relationship between you and Ridge. Why don't you go to the cabin? The two of you alone, just for a few days. I'll keep the baby. I'm Stephanie! Every... What are you saying? Okay, so Ridge and I spend a week together. Then what? What happens when Eric comes home? I'm not gonna divorce him. Even though you know he cares for me? No, I don't know he cares for you. Don't you see? I don't buy it. 
Yes. Mrs. Forrester, the mail is here. Uh, excuse me. I'll, I'll be right back. And this is for Mr. Littlefield. Thank you. Oh. Looks like you have some good news. It is. It's wonderful news. And it came at just the most appropriate moment. What do you mean? What do you mean? It's a letter to me from Eric. It's a very sweet personal note from Eric. It is for Mary. 